Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome to a brand new episode of Minecraft Stoneblock. The last episode we set up ourselves an applied energistic system. And I apologise, I was a little bit all over the place yesterday. It was uh, my first day of recording after about a week and I had to check. Like I was so monitoring so many things and I think I, the episode kind of felt like it was all over the place. It didn't feel like it was structured. So today, today what we are going to be doing is... We're going to be doing some base work. Okay, oops. So as you can see, I've cleared out this room. That was awfully laggy. So we've got like this whole thing loops around. Now this isn't going to be wood. Where we've got wood here, the wood is going to stop at this point here. Which means over here it will stop at uh, this point here. And this one is going to be a transitional one where we're going to blend what's in this one and then what we decide to have over here. Because what we're going to do over here is we are going to start moving into the industrial age. See, this was very much the stone age of, of like the era. You know, if you go through the eras of history, you've got different ages. This was like the stone age. We're very stone heavy. We're very wood heavy because this is what we had. This was our... These were the resources that we had plentiful of. Oh, be it took a little bit of time. Uh, I also put netherrack down here and lit these on fire. If you've not watched uh, previous episodes, this isn't going to catch this on fire because I do play with fire tick turned off. Mainly for building purposes, I prefer it to be good for building. So technically I could have just lit stone and stone would have burned infinitely because everything will burn infinitely now and fire will not spread. But uh, I didn't put it on to cheat. I put it on to allow me to do some really cool things with building and also because our base was going to be made primarily out of wood I didn't want it catching fire and burning to the ground and I had to keep replacing it so uh, what I definitely did use that like you can see it's it's another rack being used the whole way around I didn't cheat I didn't use stone I also cleared these out but they're now backed up again and I also put a lot in our um, farms uh, in in the small tree and got a hell of a lot of iron out of it if we have a little look quite a lot of iron I did make some blocks of iron as well so and there's still some coming out of the oh nope it's actually finished so I can go ahead and I can put in this nickel now oh, don't want the osmium been doing it like one at a time unless they alloy unless they don't alloy uh, we had this chicken just sort of uh, running around the base and uh, he came from the nether and I just realized there isn't actually a torch up here so I put him on here with a hopper beneath him, and then he's just been getting us some soul sand. He, this isn't really what I would consider a soul sand farm. It's just he was running around the base pooping out soul sand everywhere. So I thought, you know what, I might as well make use of him, put a hopper there just to catch it. We'll make a better soul sand farm in the future. So this episode, what I want to do is I want to clear out like a whole lot of room this side. And there's nothing this way apart from nothing. So... To do this, I'm going to need a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to need to pop this down like so. Actually, you know what? No, we don't. So, the first thing that I want to do is I want to clear all of that area, like I said. And to clear it, we're going to be using a quarry. So, let's see if we can actually make this quarry. I think it's called a builder, actually. Uh, we've got this builder here from RF Tools, which, oddly enough, I have brick. Okay, I wasn't actually anticipating having brick, but okay, I have brick. So we're going to pop this builder down right here. Okay, and since there is only stone in this world, I'm actually going to make ourselves a... Um, I'm actually going to grab all of the cobble that's in here and use this as the inventory to pop the stone in. Now, I don't know if I actually break this if it... Remembers what was stored in it? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Hopefully this will... Yeah, cool. Hopefully this will work. So this is how the builder works. Okay. And... Uh, we'll just leave all of that alone. So, what we need now is we need a way to uh, tell it what we want it to do. And we do this using a quarry card. So if we look here, we've got... This quarry, we actually want the uh, shapeless quarry. I believe it's called the clearing quarry, sorry. So we've got this one here, which is silk touch. Unfortunately, we don't 
Do you know what? I could actually use a silk touch, but I think that requires it requires a nether star, okay. And it also requires dimensional shards. So we'll just go with this one, which is actually relatively cheap to make. But uh we're missing Oh, that actually makes something. We're missing paper. So I'm gonna show you a way to get paper in this pack. If we actually look at paper, we can get it from sugarcane seeds, but there is another way to get it. Um, or at least there was. You can get it using wood pulp, sawdust, and the the likes. And that's really kind of like what we're going to do. So, all we need is a hammer. Uh, we'll grab this hammer. And some logs. And we'll grab these logs and we'll just pop this down. Like so. I'm using anything but dot, anything but oak because we're obviously using oak. And then we just vein mine this. And voila, we get these wood things and there's paper so much easier than waiting for sugarcane to grow and it saves me having to get a sugarcane farm okay we will get a sugarcane farm so there we go we got a shape card okay and we need to read the clearing quarry would help if i could spell that would be a great help so we need a diamond shovel we need a diamond pickaxe See how much easier this is just to craft stuff now? And there we go, we got the shaped quarry. And voila. You know there was two recipes for that. Ah, that's just a clearing quarry to turn it back into one of those quarries. Okay. So now we can take this shape card. We can say, okay, you know what? We can actually, I think you right click this. Yes. Okay, so what I want it to do is I want it to clear out an area of about 100 by a hundred and uh how tall one two three four five six tall nope that's not what i meant to do and not five tall but actually six tall and then we can put that in there so this isn't actually going to do anything because we need to get power to it but that's the quarry set up mostly we just need a lever to be able to turn it on can i reach out from here yes i can okay oh that makes a tank. I actually tried that recipe before and it didn't show up as a tank. Because I thought that was a tank, but uh, that was like back in like episode 1, 2, I was looking for a tank. So we click that and that turns the quarry on. As you can see, it's saying not enough power. So we actually need to get power to this thing. And if you know, if you remember, we actually have a power system set up over here. It would have been quicker to go the other way. We have some energy set up over here. We get some power here, look. And this capacitor bank is currently what our power is running off of. So we need to send energy from there over here. And I could easily run cables. I mean, they're not that expensive. But then that's a cleanup. We're going to use something called flux points. Or something from the flux network. Okay. Uh, I'm hoping we can use this anyway because I've not looked into it. For adding energy... For removing energy from the flux network. Um, so I think we use this thing. So we need some of these flux cores. Which means I need eyes of ender. I actually think that I do have blaze powder. So let's just make four of those. And then we need to make this um, flux dust here. Which is obtained by smelting... Is it smelting? I thought it was chucking it into fire. I'm glad I checked that out before I did it. Let's make ourselves a half a stack of this. And I believe our furnace is over here. Will this one work? No. Because of course you don't work. Okay. Put you in there. I need some coal. Let's grab some coal. Um, tiny charcoal. Actually that was kind of handy because I only need half a stack. And this was in this one. Nope, it wasn't. It was in this one. So, I've got all stone in here, which kind of I was, it's for the base, because we're moving into the industrial age, so I want to use one of my favorite chiseled blocks, and that's the factory blocks. I know a lot of people use them, but they're really kind of cool. You can do so much with them. So, I can do definitely want to use them. So, we'll let that do for now, and let's just check to see where we are with the other stuff. Uh, how much obsidian do I have? 98 obsidian in here, so I don't need to go grab some from the farm. And uh, at Flux Network. So, 
we want a thing if we want this one for removing energy okay so i need a, a block of redstone and i need four of these which requires four eight twelve sixteen oh no that actually gets us four so i just need four of these and we can get this oh, there's our flux you used to get this from chucking in lava maybe you still can but i'm not going to risk it because our redstone supplies are kind of low okay so if we go to at flux now i haven't used this in this version for removing energy from a network oh what is that that is a flux block i'm going to need a lot more flux dust aren't i because it's going to require a block and i mean i do have a redstone farm over here sort of oh we got a little bit of redstone i know we've got some more in there but this will do for now so i think i'm just gonna make up a load of flux here i've shown you how to make it and i'll be back with you in a little bit so i've got a little bit more flux done now so hopefully we actually have enough and i think i'm gonna need just one of those okay at flux okay so I'm going to definitely need some more of these. So let's make ourselves, I think, just two lots of those for now. And I can make myself this flux plug, plug for adding energy to a flux network. And then the one for removing energy. Hang on a minute. Okay. So I don't know exactly how these work anymore. So create network. Let's just do KC's early power so that's on that okay and i think i may get these the wrong way around but let's find out let's find out and then put that on there select network there we go that's the network that i want so that is definitely draining power from there which is good. Which means we should. Not enough power. You're gaining power. Aha! I forgot to switch the switch. This is going to go through a lot of power by the way and it is going to take a lot of time now i did change the clearing quarry to do two lots it's going to do it 12 tall because i want an upstairs i want an upstairs because this room here right we're going to have all ways here that continue down this side and one that continues down well we're going to go over there because i want this room to be square here and this is going to be our main base in here our main room actually that's going to be quite big from how I want it. Actually, I might be able to just do a hallway here and have this be the room because I'm just thinking I want an AE room with all the AE stuff set up. And then I want a, um, above it, I want a storage drawer room with all the storage drawers. And this is going to be made out of laboratory blocks, but the, the, the hallways are going to transition. Now, unfortunately, this is going to take some time. And I don't know if we're going to be able to see it actually doing anything let's find out I don't know we should see something nope okay I mean the, the game is lagging a bit I just hope it's not destroying anything over here I mean it shouldn't do it's got nowhere to put anything else that it destroys so if it starts to destroy anything else Maybe it just starts at the far end? I mean, we have mined out a lot of cobblestone. I don't know how much is in this area, but it's... I think it was 100 by 100, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, you you, you can see. There's, uh, there's mobs spawning all the way over here. Which uh, I just realized that's going to be a little bit of a problem. That I'm going to need to, to torch that up. So let's have a little look. See if we can. Is it a mega torch or is it a magnet? Yeah, a mega torch lock. Prevents natural mob spawning. Okay. So. 
I mean, I can make that. That's not a problem. And I would like... I would like at least four of these. I'm thinking. One, two, three, four. Okay. So... Let's stick one... Is that in... That's in line with the builder. So let's stick one there. And then let's stick one in the same location over here. Okay, cool. Now all I need to do is I need to get over there where it's building and make sure that I stick one. But that's that's sort of getting it. So yeah, I think I want a screenshot of this when it's actually built out. But I don't want to spend ages just sort of looking around for it to to get sort of like built out, if you know what I mean. So we'll pop that away. So we've prevented mob spawns. We've done that. And uh, let's have a let's work a little bit on on the hallway design, shall we? So I want some factory blocks, which are these things here, okay? And uh, we're gonna make ourselves quite a few of these. I did smelt up some stone, and I do have the iron to spare. Okay, so let's just pop those away for now. And then I would like a chisel. Um, the eye chisel, please. This one used to be unbreakable. I don't know if it still is. Okay. So we need to find out exactly what's going to be our pillar box. Now, I used a design before with um, in Sky Factory with this. Now, I definitely think that I would like a wireframe for the bottom. We use this as a background, so I don't want to use that this time around. I would very much like to find, I mean, that's a great, yeah. these would look nice if they just were, if they were just a connected texture, what is that one we used? I think we used a mixture of that and that in Sky Factory. Um, I mean, that's all right. But I do like that, what about you? You don't tile well. I mean, we could use the, no, I, I think I want to use that, and then let's just chisel one lot this, okay? So if we were to take out just you for now, and we were to go like so, and then we were to take this and pop this in sort of like the background, oops. I mean, I'm not against that. Not against this. I like this because this looks very industrial. But this... Nah, this has to go. Wasn't on the chisel. Okay, so... What about... I don't know, um... See, I want to use them somewhere. What about this? I, I did use this in Sky Factory as well, but... And it does look very industrial, but again... I'm thinking we go with a caution. And I think I would like to use this caution. Because this really does give the feel of it being an industrial... Sort of area and of course I need to pop a uh, torch behind this pillar because I don't want these to connect I, don't, I want this like this if we so if we put a block here you notice how that changes we don't get these like little rivets back there and I definitely want the little rivets so it does mean that I've got to place a lot of these blocks myself but I mean, that definitely does look... That does look alright. But we can create a builder's wand and make this a little bit easier. Um, 
Oops. Not exactly sure what we're going to do here. I really would like an Angel Ring or the upgraded version of this jetpack. That'd be nice. Pop a torch there. Pick that up. Grab you. Yes, I know these are three. Unfortunately, just the way it's laid out meant that means that it isn't exactly as free as I would like. And we would start transitioning this here. So do I have another one of these? Three, four, five. That would probably be there. Although, to be honest, we would need another one, like, right... I mean, this is the wall, so we'd need probably another one, like, there. I don't know why. I'll figure that out later. But yeah. I think we've kind of got this sussed out, so let's just bring this down. And if you're still interested in watching me live stream over on Twitch TV slash Kyle the Devil Davis... I will be changing to Mr. Casey Davis like to match all my other stuff because I used to go by the devil but it uh, wasn't very family friendly was it now then so let's actually just get rid of you let's bring this down and the devil's more like my competitive alter ego but we're, we're playing other games on stream we're playing Assassin's Creed at the minute we're playing through the uh, the series of that the game series all but the uh, handheld games, because I don't, I can't capture from handheld consoles. I can only capture from actual consoles. Okay, so there's that, and I would like to chisel these we into this. Let's grab a couple of these. No, okay. So if we were to just take out this like so I and mean, just to lay this down we're just we're just testing the waters here because i have a little bit of time to kill at the end of this episode did everything that i wanted to do in this episode already i also put a bunch of redstone on my pickaxe so it mines a little bit faster although i wouldn't mind it mining a little bit more faster than it already is so let's take this and just because we definitely want, we want it to look industrial, this side of it. This is like the industrial age. And we'll have a futuristic age if we, if I'm still going by then. If the series is still doing well. I mean, it's, I shouldn't say doing well. Because it's not doing well on the channel as it is. But it's a bit of an older mod pack. Maybe I'm not labeling it correctly. Maybe I'm just crap. But that would imply that there was actual viewers to tune off. <laughs> a few people do watch it though. And I'm thankful for every single viewer. I, you know, I've said this before, but... I enjoy making videos, I really do. So I'm going to make them for 1, 5, 10, 15, 20. However many there is. Okay. So this is kind of like the industrial age. And again, we probably have to bring this across here like so. Uh, I think I am going to make this go across like so, and I think I'm going to bring this over like this here. Because that looks more industrial. Oops, give me that back. But I, I always go to this block for some reason. This and the factory, no not factory block, the laboratory block. The laboratory block, the laboratory, the laboratory block, the laboratory block, yeah, the laboratory block. The laboratory block requires quartz. And uh, we are going to set up a quarry in the nether in the near future. But I also would like to set up a um, an actual place for uh, my... Uh, I want to get into better power. And I'm trying to think of what it's called. A reactor. That's it. I completely spaced on what they were called for a second there. Yeah, this corridor really definitely gives you the, the vibe that I'm wanting. Now, I can't put in the next bit, I don't think. I think we could probably get away with putting in this. Nope. nope. I misplaced a block there. So we got that one in. 
that line up? Yeah, that does line up. I thought for a second I'd, I'd miss, mislaid that one. Don't want to put it too close in case the quarry accidentally starts mining it. Which I think it would do if I put one here. But I suppose we could just do one section. One section isn't that much to redo. Just so we've got like a... Um, just like a plan of action, really. Grab that. And voila. I mean, if we do that, you can hardly tell. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. And I have just received a message from the anonymous Raw General Manager. <laughs> Guys, that's going to do it for this episode. If you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. We're at 4.1k mind. If you've enjoyed the episode, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel and I really do appreciate it. So please do leave that like. And click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Guys, I'm Casey. I want to thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.